Hi everyone, welcome to the part 4 video of ESLAN configuration with BGP EVPN in Cisco Nexus switches. In part 1 video we have configured underlay network with OSPF. In part 2 we have configured a tenant VR of 1, then L3 VNI and one L2 VNI. In part 3 we have seen inter VXLAN routing using L3 VNI. In this video we will be creating another tenant called VRF02 and then we will see the inter VXLAN communication and we will assign same series IP as uh, the VRF011 VNI 11 series IP we will assign to VLAN 110 and C okay. this part also configuration is going to be easy since uh, we won't be configuring it we will be copying and pasting the config from the VRF1 and we can edit the config accordingly. Okay, so since we are creating another tenant VRF2, we need to create even on L3 VNI. And uh, BGP config. then VTAP config L2 VNI and uh, interface access okay. I'll create another section here um, tenant VRF it here the VRF name is going to be VRF2 VLAN ID I will make it as 102 VN segment 102 102 so interface VLAN 102 no shot uh, VRF member going to be VRF to so the same we are of context we are of two and we and I is one or two one or two the BGP we are of two trust family IPv4 unicast And uh, VTAP one or two, one or two. Okay. Okay, L three VNI config looks fine. Okay, so we are of two and uh, VLAN 102 we have completed now we need to configure VLAN 110 that is going to be L2 VNI any cast is not required we have already configured it this is VLAN 110 and uh, VNI is going to be VLAN 110 is going to be member of VRF2 and IP is going to be same interface NVE1 is going to be 110 and the interface number should be 1 slash 5 
it will start configuring it we'll go to next size one This is also part of L3 VNA config. Okay, there is some delay from device. Yeah. Now we'll configure L2 VNI. We will make sure we have given no shut in both interfaces. Okay, now from this PC I will try to ping to the gateway. This is having the IP 11.1. It is reachable. Now I will copy and paste uh, same config for uh, Nexus OS 2 as well. it starts from here we'll give the name VRF2 here the config difference would be only the interface assignment here the interface is going to be E1 slash 4 Open Nexus 2. Okay, we'll paste the config. Yeah, we'll open eleven dot two. You can see here I have IP 11.2 and ping to 11.1 yeah it is reachable so that means my uh, traffic is passing through the layer 3 network OSPF so next I'll be adding another VLAN and uh, that is going to be the L2 VNI VLAN 21. The commands are going to be same. So I'll copy this. And I'll paste it and uh, edit the config you 
okay that is going to be vlan 21 vn segment is going to be 21000 vlan 21 is going to be member of vr of 2 then interface is going to be part of VLAN 21 and here is going to be E1 slash 6 looks good here yeah I'll add the config into Nexus OS 1 The VLAN 21 config is completed in uh, Nexus 1. Now I'll go to the PC 21.1. I'll try to ping to the gateway to 54. It is reachable. Now we'll configure the uh, port. E1 slash 5 of Nexus 2. So I'll copy this config. Paste it here. VLAN 21. One slash 5. Give no shot. Good, we'll paste it. Next OS 2. Okay, we'll go to the PC 21.2. having IP 21.02 yeah gateway is pinging uh, now from this we will try to reach 11.1 the reason is I will show the config interface VLAN 102 I haven't enabled IP forwarding it is in the sequence file I don't I haven't mentioned it even for uh, VLAN 101 I haven't mentioned now I have mentioned it so Okay, interface VLAN 102. Mention IP forwarding. I'll enable IP forwarding in both VLAN interfaces. Then we'll start in interface VLAN 102. We'll 
exercise two. You can verify the config. once VNA is 101101 VR of 2 is having VNA 102102 and both interfaces VLAN interfaces are having IP forwarding enabled this also you need to make sure And under NVE interface member VNI, one hundred two one hundred two is added. Under BGP also I have added. So now I'll try pinging to eleven dot one dot one. It is pinging, and uh, we'll see. We'll see the arc of the gateway uh, this is what we have configured previously so for all the this fabric forwarding any cast gateway the same gateway it is going to use for all the units so now this 21.1.1 will be able to reach this 11.1 and uh, we'll shut down this interface and try it once interface phase 0 slash 0 shut down Now we'll try reaching. It won't be reachable. Let me know shut. Yeah, this is reachable. Okay. Um, that's all with this setup. In the next video, we'll verify the complete config with multiple show commands will test all the reachability okay thanks for watching if this video is helpful please like the video hope you enjoyed it thanks thank you